Hey everyone, Wes Boss here. I've got a book on Sublime Text in a video series on React. And one of the questions I get is, how do I use Emmet and Sublime Text inside of my React when I'm writing JSX? Now, there's a lot of misinformation out there on the internet, all kinds of hacks with regexes and find and replaces and whatnot. And um, I'm just going to set the record straight to just show everyone how to do it properly. So um, you'll know that if you've written JSX before, you can't use class equals when you want to give your HTML entity a class. You have to go ahead and say class name equals person and um, that throws people for a bit of a loop. So um, what you need to do is first of all this comes built into Emmet and if you were just to type like p dot person instead of hitting your tab key I'll show you how to get the tab key working in just a second you need to hit control E and that will expand that's the global keyboard shortcut for Emmet's expand and that's going to expand whatever little recipe that you've written and it's going to automatically detect that you are inside of a JavaScript file and will give you class name equals person. You can go ahead and start saying hello in there. Um, this works as well as if you have something like UL with the class of dogs and you have an LI with the class of dog dollar and maybe you got 10 of them. You can just hit expand and it will give you that increment as well as the proper class name in there. Um, even more so if you want to use uh, JSX's variables interpolation, you can we can go ahead and say maybe you want like a paragraph with the class of name and inside of that you want the person.name. Say we have a variable person.name and beside that we have a paragraph with the class of age and inside of that we'll have person.age. And if I go ahead and control E to expand this, we get the proper class name, but we don't get our object and property properly in the curly bracket. So what we need to do there is take each of them and wrap them in a second set of curly brackets. So I'm going to go ahead there and those will turn blue and you'll notice that the first set of curly brackets is telling Emmet that this is content of the element and the second set of curly brackets is just going to be uh, saved so that when JSX runs that you'll see it. So that's all you really need is control E and it's going to go ahead. But if you are used to using the tab key to expand all of your HTML, then I'm going to show you how to get that up and set up. So uh, the reason why it doesn't work by default, because when you hit the tab key in Emmet, what it does is it, it will assume that you want to write uh, HTML and the tab key is used for a ton of other things uh, inside if you want to autocomplete a variable name as you're typing or something like that. So I recommend maybe just use control E, but if you really want the tab key to be working, um, we've got some documentation up on the Emmet Sublime one. I'll put this in here and now this is just one key, which is tab, and it has a whole bunch of logic for when the tab key should expand to Emmet and when it should just leave alone and uh, use it for the regular tabbing in Sublime. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to copy everything that we've got in here and head back to my Sublime text here. Preferences, key bindings, dash user, don't use default, use user. And you might have nothing in here if you've never specified a custom key mapping in Sublime Text. Just make sure that you have, if you have nothing, make sure you've got a set of square brackets because it's an array of different keys. You can see in here I'm remapping my uh, Shift T I'm, or Command T. I'm remapping my Command N. And I've got all these different key mappings that I'm using here. But what I'm going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom here. And I'm going to add another one. I'm doing comma first here. If you aren't using comma first, make sure you add a comma to the end of the last one that is there. So I'll do comma and then I'm going to paste in that entire thing that we just got. It's it's quite big. And the important part that we need here is if you look on where it says operand scope selector, we need to change that to tell it what scope that the tab key should expand to Emmet ex um, abbreviation. So uh, we could say something like source.js and comma text.html. And that means it's going to work in our HTML and our JavaScript. So if I give that a save now, and you don't have to restart or anything like that. If I go back into right here and I just type UL, I hit, now I'm just hitting my tab key and it's working perfectly. Um, and then maybe inside of there, I can do an li. I can use my class name, li.person. I can use that double brackets we were talking about, person dot name and hit tab and it's working great. Um, the only issue is that if you're not inside of JSX, like if I'm just inside of here, like var x equals LOL tab, it gives me an LOL tag instead of like maybe I wanted an LOL variable. So what I did inside of mine is instead of um, scoping it right to all of source.js, um, I use this little plugin called scope hunter 
And what Scope Hunter will do is it will show you what scope you are inside of in Sublime. Like right here, I'm just inside of source.js. But if I go inside of these return ones right here, you'll see that I'm inside of some round brackets, some curly brackets. So what I've done is I've just taken that kind of round bracket um, or round braces scope and replaced it with the source, replaced the source.js with the meta.group.braces.round.js. And that means that when I hit tab, I have to be inside of a set of round brackets or round parentheses and it will work for me. So here again, if I type UL and hit tab, it works. But if I go down here and hit UL and hit tab, nothing actually uh, works inside of that. So not everyone uses parentheses to return uh, their item, but definitely a best practice to do so. So I recommend that. So again, I'll, I'll post this entire snippet up along with this video. Um, but if that interests you, make sure you check on out reactforbeginners.com if you're interested in learning a little bit more about React and Firebase and, and building a whole app yourself. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about Sublime Text, check out sublimetextbook.com. I've got a whole bunch of stuff like this. Thanks a lot.